Oh, yeah. Um, well, there's a passable cooking school there. I'm gonna be a chef. Oh, you gonna open up your own restaurant? Oh, slow down, Tiger. <laughs> Maybe someday, but in the meantime, I'll be washing dishes as I work my way up Juno's cutthroat diner industry. I bet you won't be washing dishes long. Yeah, I'll graduate to slinging Adam and Eve on a raft. Uh, what? Eggs and toast. I've been studying up on diner lingo. <laughs> Clearly. All right, we are here, folks. We're at a Jello Alert Can't level zero. Midlife crisis and buy a boat. Maybe sail to the Caribbean. At a Tally Alert level zero, they're both asleep. Life is great. We're gonna. Ooh, not happening for you, buddy. Midlife crises are for boring people. You will never be boring. Sounds like a challenge. Oh, trust me. I'm now midlife. It, trust me, you want to be boring. That is the goal, folks. That is the goal. Boring is good. Trust me. All right, we're going to talk to... You see the last episode of Witches of Eldom? Nah, stopped watching after they killed off my girl Mabel. The show sucks without her. Should I get you anything? Nah, I'm good. Do you sneak in dance practice when it's dead like this? Yep. We got that big show coming up at the community theater, so I take every chance I can get. Do you sneak in dance practice when it's dead like this? Yep. We got that big show coming up at the community theater, so I take every chance I can get. All the fishing holes. Fishing holes. Got any big plans in Juno? Oh, yeah. Um, well, there's a passable cooking school there. I'm going to be a chef. Oh, you going to open up your own restaurant? Oh, slow down, Tiger. <laughs> Maybe someday, but in the meantime, I'll be washing dishes as I work my way up Juno's cutthroat diner back here? industry. I bet you won't be washing dishes long. Yeah, I'll graduate. Can you believe Tessa and Tom around. were ever young? I heard that. What? I may have a little less going on in the hair department. But you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. That's Del, kind of funny. Canned ham? How do people eat this? Broke people? Uh, did 10 years in fireweed make you forget what it was like to be broke? <sighs> Sorry, that was shitty. I remember Marianne stretching vegetable stew for a week once. Canned ham would have tasted amazing by the end of that. Yep, I was poor. I agree. I agree. Spam is your friend. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. So, mm. uh, what kind of lure would you use for a I'm kind of impressed. Well, it's hard to beat little Cleos, but depends on conditions. Wait, is this a pop quiz? <laughs> hey, I had to be sure. What? You think I'm, like, catfishing you? Well, can you blame me for being skeptical of an outdoorsy Rona? Hmm. No. No, I cannot. Holy shit, would they date? Is he gay? That would be fantastic if Michael, I think it is How many here as kids? A lot. Marianne would come here to play cards with Tessa, and we'd have the run of the place. It was the highlight of the week. We'd play on the playground, and Tessa would let us fill our plates at the restaurant. And it got Marianne off our backs for a little while. All right, look. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Hold on. Talk to him? There we go. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? They thought about that for a while, my friend. What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. 
Um, and then A, how are you? How's it going, Tom? Great. The campaign's prospects have got me completely energized. Is that it? Those are huge, oh, those are huge pumpkins. The pumpkins get bigger every year. Well, you know, our produce vendor has won several ribbons at the Alaska State Fair. I heard she spent a thousand dollars on her starter seeds. Can you imagine? So, how's the day off going? Well, Ty's here, so hard to complain. Good for you. Family's important. Okay, I'll talk to you later. All right. I feel like, though, like it has that like look like there should be. Oh, wait. I'm just going to go back here. Here? No. What are we doing? Do I have to go back to Tyler? I get lost sometimes. All the time. What am I talking about? What do we still need to get? Something to drink. Or are you going to make me walk over to the drink area? I guess so. That really is one enormous pumpkin. No, I... That really is one enormous nope, I guess pumpkin. Not. Oh, wait. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world-famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. Hey, I got I got a husband that does that for me. Okay, what else in the store are we missing? I swear to God, I've been through everything. Oh, drinks. Oh my God, I'm a dork. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. OJ sound good to you? Yep. Okay. I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. What is it with the calling it soda? It's pop. I just, I'm arbitrary, evidently. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. Oh my god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. Oh, she knows. She what knows. the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. She's full of shit, guys. Oh my god, she's a religious fundy. Religious fundy! Go away. Do not need. Oh, the cat's not crawling on my head. Is there anything? Like, it keeps giving me kind of an option, but... Oh, so it is over here. Okay, let's go inside. Is there something I can do for you? 
Uh, just, uh, what are you up to? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? Hmm, <laughs> yes. What a lucky coincidence. No, never mind. Okay, there's got to be something. It keeps wanting to almost do it. Can I help you, yeah. Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. All right. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take from What's this doing here? Oh, the pious pelican, I didn't mean to interrupt their talking. That's my bad. Man. Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Oh God. She's gonna be a horrible person. I'm pretty sure of it. Pretty sure of it, folks. Can I come back here and sit? Nope. God, I feel like there should be something. Look one more time, really quick, before I Is leave. there something I can do for you? No, just picking up some things for the house. Oh, okay. Does your brother need any, um, shaving products? We've got some on sale. I think he's got everything, but, uh, thanks. Good, good. Well, you let me know if we're running low on anything you need. No, never mind. So, that's a very common tone, both the hubby and I get for people who do not like us being trans, but because socially they're kind of forced to. Dude, are we done yet? I would like to be done. Oh, here we go. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? What a bitch. Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? All right, are we going back? Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No. Oh God, I gotta fall. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne I offended us because Tessa got all preachy. We did it go into- Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help! Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children. Tessa, mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being 
Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Oh shit. Yeah, your mom was defending Tyler. All right, so we're going to we're going to approach her. Is there something I can do for you? Your fight with Marianne. Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about... She'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. We should go talk to Tom, right? See if he remembers the song. Alright, let's see Tom. Hey Tom! How you doing, buddy? Hey Tom. There's something I can help you with? Uh, remember that one song? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Uh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? Think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? Christianity. That's what does. I don't know. Let's see. Kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no, I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. 
And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. All right, there's got to be another one. No, okay, I thought there would be. Wait. No. Up oh, here we go. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that oh, pamphlet shit. was? She did give me Marianne. Hand. I don't know. I saw it in Marianne's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Marianne felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. All right. Back to that book. We're going back to the book, folks. Oh, wait. There's... Let's check the email. I'm going to check your email. Uh, Tessa? Don't worry about is it. Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Urgent. Okay, so November 2nd, 2015. Urgent. Don't miss out this opportunity. What if I told you the government owed you up to $10,000 cash to go to school? This is not a loan. It won't have to pay back. This is not a scam. Take this seriously. Click below to take the two-minute questionnaire and claim your money. Oh, my God. Virtue it's a scam. Seekers Youth Camp. Ooh. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Lions for Traditional Families November Newsletter. Watch Dr. Whitmore's talk articulating God's design for sexuality. Ten powerful Christian quotes that will change your life. Parents' Guide to Preventing Same-Sex Attraction. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Now in its 20th year. Oh, shit, that would have been its 10th year when they had that. Oh, yeah, she's a bitch. Your order's been shipped. Thanks, shop. Your order garlic peeler kitchen tool has been shipped. Um, this is, hey, Tessie, just got back from my work, workation and found girls in bed sleeping like happy logs. Adrian said they're riding high when he picked them up from your place today. Apparently, you got them both to eat kale. I'm saying that's supposed to be kale, not carry. Please let me know what Saint you prayed to do to pull that off. All morning they've been going on about their camping trip with Auntie Tessa and all the s'mores they ate and bugs they caught. I can't remember the last time they're both this happy at the same time. Usually it's one happy, the other one crying. You know you're busy storing get rave to be the first lady, so thanks for making time for them. And sorry about the last minute drop. It was last minute drop. Um the girls say we love you, Annie Tessa. P.S. You and Tom should come for dinner sometime. Adrian's been dying to show him the new eight media room, which will keep them busy while we drink wine in the kitchen. Your favorite little sister, a notorious NIC. Elephant in the room. I know y'all don't want to have this conversation, but Lisa's flaked on rehearsals again. She hasn't shown up weeks. I know we're all beyond, moved beyond words by her performance of Danny Boy at Carl's funeral, but what good is your beautiful voice if you can't show up on time? every week like everybody else blah 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 all right it is time to make some but i'm gonna go over here first can i help I you allison oh no no thanks i'm good i'm just looking for something that i forgot ah 2004. anything interesting all right read it June, $24 for a meal at the restaurant, paid off. September, $11 doll for the kid. Uh, February, $50. March, paid off February's debt. September, $20 for gas, paid in full. 
Oh my god, she's a total bitch. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. I guess we're done. There wasn't anything there really to worry about, so I didn't read it off. All right. Let's go on back and confront Tessa. Is there something I can do for you? We remember details. We're back with details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. I want to say October. October 2004. That was when she stopped trying to pay her debts, right? Yes. I don't know why. She always found a way to pay before that. But we never argued about money. I, I was frustrated, but you can't squeeze blood from a stone. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. You're mad that she bailed on you? You told her about the camp? She was done being judged. You told her about the camp. There we go. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. There we go. The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I... T Look, your mother was in a bad place. It was clear she was coming apart at the seams. She told me she'd been struggling with you, and I'd heard such good things about that camp. Your answer to my mother's bad moods was to send me to conversion therapy? It's what I thought would help both of you at the time. Tyler, it was worse than bad moods. She was not well. Not well at all. Do you know what they do to kids in those places? I do. Now. And how did Marianne take your helpful suggestion? Badly. She wanted to let you be whatever perfect little butterfly was in that cocoon. And yes, we argued about it. So she was cool with who I was? She was more than that. She loved you. Listen, I don't mean to be rude, but I really do have a lot on my plate today. Okay. We'll get out of your way then. Thanks, Tessa. Can we grab our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay. Thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. Ah, uh, Tom, the thinking? clueless husband. Just, uh, trying to wrap my brain around all that. I can't believe you got Tessa Vecchi to talk about the past. Bravo. Yeah. And Marianne, she had my back. It, it really doesn't change much, right? She was still fucking crazy. She still tried to kill me. But knowing she was trying to protect me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge, it, it feels good, Allison. Hey, look at me. You are allowed to feel however you are feeling about this. God, I could use a smoke. <sighs> You're speaking my language. What? Sorry, I'm just thinking about what this means. Yeah, me too. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. 
Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. I am so awesome. Look at that. Woo! This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office. Upstairs. All right, folks. We're gonna wrap it up yeah. here. I will see you folks mascot, next huh? time. Until then. Take care.